Hey YouTube, ID Furkan here, and today we are going going to try EV Notify again. Last time I used this cheap OBD2 adapter, an ELM327. It didn't work, and after a month I thought, let me buy a new one, a Peak BLA Plus. Um, you can buy a cheaper one, whatever. Uh, there's also non-plus version and uh, I also got messages there's a cheaper one that's also working with the ID trees so I'm expecting that will also work with the ID force uh, that will be in my description but for now this is the one about uh, VP BLA plus uh, I'm gonna connect it right now and here is the uh, result of it um, it's Issue with this thing is this is pretty snug. You can put pull it in and it's all right. With the V pick, you need to you, there's some wiggle, so you need to put it pretty horizontally to get the right connection. But then, if you connect here, yeah, as you can see, it's in insulation. Let's wait for the Bluetooth and it's connected. Tada! It gets its uh, information, so it's working. Uh, now let me show you which car I have. I have currently the ID3 because there's no more. Doesn't matter. You put the capacity on 77, and that is then all right. So you go back. You wait till it's uh, connected again. It goes pretty fast, to be honest. It's like five seconds max, and then it's starting to read your uh, basic car data. It's much quicker than OBD11. Uh, reason is actually it only pulls uh, like six, seven, let's say ten values at max, and OBD11 uh, pulls everything, and that takes just some time. Uh, so as you can see, it works. It's great, and now we are waiting for our lovely developer of EF Notify to slowly update it and uh, have fun with this app. So. Thanks for watching and I will see you again on the road. Later!